everyone. Today we're here to show you one of the best uh, pieces of equipment in terms of fitness industry. And this is the dual functional uh, cable trainer. And this machine allows you basically to work in a very functional way. It comes with two different arms, which can be set up in a very high position to a very low position. And also you can open them quite wide open or you can set them up in a very narrow position, right? So whether you are looking to increase your strength levels, overall strength levels, or just increase your specific power output in a very specific uh, exercise and movement, this is the machine which will uh, help you to achieve your goals when it comes to uh, your sport or your overall fitness level. trainer comes with two different levers. With each arm you have 13 different adjustments. It also comes with two different pulleys, one metal bar, one elastic strap and one fixed strap. With each lever you can position the arm from low to high and narrow to wide. For the shoulder press, we are now going to position the levers. And we are going to use both pulleys. For the shoulder press, we work the front and mid delt. So for this exercise, we're going to move all, both arms in a mid position. All you have to do is grab the pulleys, go forward and push all the way. Back and forth, control the way down. That's correct. Obviously your core gets activated as well while pushing. The bicep curl is an isolated exercise purely for the bicep. So for this exercise we position the arms in a mid position and all we have to do is to row towards the chest and we target mainly our back, your lats, your upper back and your biceps. We will now position the levers at a, the higher position. For the tricep extension, it is an isolated exercise to work the tracer. So for this exercise, we are going to position the levers in a very low position. Grab the pulleys and all you have to do now is bend over so you activate your hamstrings, your glutes and once you are stable, Keep your balance, you just row and activate your lats, your biceps and your upper back muscles as well. We will position the levers at high position. The face pull works the rear delts and the upper traps. So for this exercise, we're going to put both arms at the top, in a very high position. All you have to do is go on your knees to the floor, grab the pulleys and pull towards your hips, squeezing your back muscles. We will now position the levers at a lower height and more of a wide. The 
lateral raise is a complete isolated movement for the middle delt. This exercise targets mainly your front delts. All we have to do is to set up the arms in a very low position and hook the bar. It can be also performed with the pulleys, but this time we're going to do them with the, with the bar. So you just go and step forward, your elbows locked, and go all the way up, yes. Core activated, and targets your front delts front part of the shoulders. We will now position the levers at a mid position. For the reverse flies, we are going to target the rear delts and the upper back. We have now changed the levers with the strap, the metal bar. We are now going to position the levers from up high. The follow over is an isolated exercise to work the lats and the rear delts. There are three different variations to perform the chest flies. First, we will position the levers from the upper position and more to the sides, which is a wider. This position is going to target more of the lower pack. Now we will move on to target more of the mid packs. So we'll now position the levers into a bit of a mid position. And we're going to bring the levers in just a little bit. We will now move on to the last variation of the chest fly, which is from a lower position working from the ground upwards. This will target more of the upper pack. 